Hey guys, Jocelyn here with Fantasia Elegance. In this video I'll be showing you how to make this very cute and simple little wire wrapped snowman Christmas tree ornament. These are very quick and easy to make and are wonderful for teacher gifts, neighbor gifts, stocking stuffers, uh, what have you. You'll just need a couple things to make this ornament. I will be using some 12 gauge aluminum wire. Um, I purchased mine from RioGrande.com. You can purchase this from Amazon. Uh, a lot of local craft stores have it as well. Again, you just need some 12 gauge aluminum wire. I'll be using silver colored. We will be hammering this out so it works best to not use a plated or coated wire, uh, which could be messed up by hammering this out. Although that is optional, you can skip the hammering step as well. I do like using the aluminum. It works really well for anything you're going to be hanging on a Christmas tree because it makes it very lightweight so you don't have any dragging branches or issues like that going on. In addition to the wire, you'll need a couple kinds of ribbon. As you can see here, we have a cute little scarf on our snowman out of this plaid ribbon. Uh, for that, you will need some 3 8 inch thick ribbon. I just got this from either Michael's or Joann's. I don't remember which. Uh, this is a great time of year to find plaid ribbons like this. They have a lot of Christmas stuff in stock. Just in case you aren't near a local craft shop where you could pick some of this up, I will search and see if I can find something similar on Amazon and leave a link in the description section below for where you can purchase that. For finishing off the ribbon to make sure it doesn't fray, I do also recommend you have something like some super glue or some clear nail polish on hand that we will just be using to paint the ends to make sure the ribbon doesn't fray. But we don't need very much. We're only going to use about a 7 inch piece to make his little scarf here. And then finally, optionally, I do have added a little satin 1 8 inch thick ribbon hanger here for hanging this little guy. You could skip this and just, you know, stick his little top hat right through a Christmas tree branch. That would work equally well. But if you do like the look of the ribbon, we'll just be using some 1 8 inch thick uh, double-sided satin ribbon, again, which I got from a local craft shop, but I will leave a link where you can find this exact same thing on Amazon. For tools and materials, I will be using your standard chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, flush cutters. I do, as always, have in the description section below a list of the exact brands I'm using and where you can buy them. And then, as I mentioned earlier, we will be hammering this out slightly. So if you have a steel bench block and jeweler's hammer, that would be great. These are optional, however, if you do not have them. Finally, I will be referencing as I make this, this little template which I've come up with here just to help shape our little snowman. Um, I will make this available for you all to download on my Etsy shop. I will leave again in the description section below a link for where you can access this. This is also optional, don't feel like you have to get it. It will just make it a little bit easier for you to follow along. But I will make sure that you can also make it without this template. And let me just give you the measurements if you're artistically inclined and you want to draw your own little snowman outline to follow along with uh, so that you can get at the same height and use the same lengths of wire. Um, so mine is just about three and a half inches high there by about, uh, I don't know, one and three quarters inches wide. Um, so just in case you want to kind of customize this, make your own little design, but have it turn out about the same height. Those are the measurements we're going to be going for. So to start out, go ahead and pull out your 12 gauge wire. Again, I'm using silver aluminum wire here. I'm just going to straighten out a nice long length of this and we're going to cut a single 18 inch piece of this wire. And my aluminum wire, at least that I get from Rio Grande, does have a lot of little wiggles and kinks in it as it comes off the spool. So as you can see, I'm just using this kind of back and forth straightening motion on it to get all of those out and have a nice straight piece. That will really help your finished ornament to look a lot more uh, nice and professional once you finish it. So let's go ahead and measure our piece here. Again, we're gonna do an 18 inch piece. So there's 10 inches there and another eight. If you have a tape measure, you could just use that and measure it all in one go. I have one somewhere, but I was too lazy to pull it out. So we'll go ahead and snip that off. That is going to be our one nice long piece of wire that we use to shape our whole snowman. What we're going to do with this is start kind of on the snowman's tummy here, and we're just going to start by making this little spiral shape. So to do that, just pull out your round nose pliers, and we're going to start on one end of this wire. And I'm just going to put in an open spiral, 
just gripping right on the very tip of the wire and I'm kind of using my left hand holding the wire to help shape it in conjunction with my right hand holding the pliers. And I'm just kind of using the wires natural spring and temper to help put a nice smooth curve in here. Um, this is something that a lot of people message me asking how do you put a nice smooth spiral in your wire and part of the trick is just to get a feel for your wire to know really just where to what how much force to apply what angles to use to get the desired outcome so a lot of it is just practice um, a few tips that help you'll see some people kind of moving their pliers along at each stage to help bend it um, I don't like to do that because it does risk putting a lot more tool marks in and then you might get, you know, a sharp bend right where you are gripping with your pliers, you know, you might get something like that instead of a nice smooth shape. So I prefer to grip minimally with my pliers and kind of use my fingers to help shape instead of doing that. So that's just one little tip for you. And I'm just going to continue spiraling this around until it comes back on itself and we get that uh, diameter that I was showing you earlier. And what we're looking for is to have this be about one and three quarters inch in diameter. Um, if you want to use the little template that I mentioned earlier, this is where I would lay it over top of my template and just make sure that I'm shaping it along according to this. Okay, so we've got our little spiral shaped here. You do want your inner spiral to be sitting slightly up inside of this larger outer circle that's going to make up our snowman's body. So that's kind of the look that you're going for there. And then you want to bring your tail around so that it touches the top of that little spiral that we made. That is where we're going to attach everything together using our little ribbon scarf. Okay, so now we're going to shape a second circle on top of this to be the snowman's little head. So I'm just going to continue using my fingers, uh, bend this wire around to put in another circle. And I'm going to keep wrapping this all the way around and then take my tail back behind what we've already shaped. So just like this, and we're going to actually create a double layer along the right hand side of the snowman's face. So as you can see there, we've got a double layer of the wire running behind. So that's how we're going to take this one piece of wire, hide it behind, and come up and shape the top hat. All right, let me just double check on my template, making sure that I'm getting this exactly how I want it. So they're all about the same. And if you don't have the template, just a helpful little measurement for you here, the diameter of the snowman's head, we're looking at just under an inch or so there uh, in diameter for his head. All right, so we've got, again, one circle here, another circle here. I'm just going to sandwich this wire back behind, so continuing to shape it to sit perfectly behind that little circle shape. And then we are in position to shape this guy's little top hat. So what I'm going to do is take this tail off at an angle, uh, right where that you want the hat to sit on his head. So I'm going to pull out my chain nose pliers. I'm just going to make a little mark uh, based on my template or if you just want to eyeball it, that works as well. And I'm going to take this little tail wire off at an angle, kind of going straight up, but then bending it a little bit further so that we get that kind of flared out shape for his little top hat. Okay, so that's what we're going for there. I'm gonna use my chain nose pliers just to straighten that out a little bit. If you can see from the side here, what we've got is that second layer running behind and then branching off to make his little top hat. And then I'm going to go up just about an inch from that bend 
that we had before there. Um, so about an inch or so. And that is where we're going to place a bend for the top of his top hat. And if you have the template, of course, you can just lay it over top, mark where you want to do the bend, and then proceed to do that. And we're just going to take that running nice and horizontal. And then for our next bend, for the left-hand side of his hat, I'm going to go once again just about an inch over to place that second bend. Um, or if you're using the template, you can lay it over top like I'm doing here. So just about an inch over right there. And we'll just place our second bend, kind of mimicking the angle we have on the first side to make sure that his little hat is turning out mostly symmetrical for us. And then we're going to put a little swoopy swirl in here, just on the left-hand side of his hat to kind of be a stylized little brim. So I'm pulling out my round nose pliers. I'm just gripping right where that wire meets his head, and I'm going to wrap it all the way around to put a little swoopy circle in there. And then what you want to have happening is for this tail to come out of the circle kind of head diagonally across over his head and come down and touch the right hand side of his head and the right hand side of the hat there. And we'll just use this last little bit to create a matching circle on this side of the hat. So I'm just going to wrap this tail around all the way around to create a symmetrical matching little circle and you might need to tweak that a little bit just making sure that it's looking similar on the right hand and left hand side of your little hat here. So I think that looks pretty good. Once you're happy with that shape you can use your flush cutters to just trim off the excess little wire tail there and then use your chain nose pliers to flatten that down and close up that little shape. All right, so that's our little snowman, really quick and easy. Uh, for finishing touches, I'm going to hammer this out a little bit to give it some added strength. And also, it just kind of widens the wire out and makes it look a little bit more polished and finished. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Where you want to focus on hammering, of course you can't hammer here where these two wires are overlapping. So we're going to avoid his head. I will hammer fairly aggressively his little body here and the swirl shapes. And then also the top part of his top hat. Alright, so here's what our little snowman looks like after hammering. Again, that is an optional step, but I feel like it adds a lot in terms of how the finished thing looks. So all we have to do now is our little finishing touches with the ribbon scarf and the hanger if desired. So go ahead and pull out your 3 8 inch diameter plaid ribbon. And we're just going to cut a short little length of this. We don't need too much. A uh, 7 inch piece should be plenty and still have, you know, excess that we can comfortably tie it. You do want to use some nice sharp scissors to cut that. Make sure it's not fraying or getting mangled as you cut. And we're just going to take this ribbon and knot it around his little neck here. So I'm going to insert the ribbon below where all these wires are crossing at his neck. And then I'm going to bring the other end up around. So we're basically just encasing this point where that first swirl we shaped hits the bottom part of his head. We're just encasing all of those wires. And I'm just going to do a really simple knot, basically tying this one time. So I'm just going to cross the ends over, tuck that one down inside. And then we're just going to gently start tightening this. So that we have one end going off in one direction, the other end going off in the other direction. And then this end that is heading off to the right, I'm just going to tuck back behind, kind of pinching it down in that space for his neck. And then I'm going to feed it 
back up through the other side here, just so that it is lying kind of behind but at a pleasing uh, visual angle with that other little ribbon tail. Now you can, if you like, put a drop of glue on the back here or a couple stitches of thread to help hold this together. So now we're just going to trim these ribbon ends at a nice little angle. As you can see here, we have our lower one slightly longer, our upper one slightly shorter. So that's what we're going to do. And again, I'm going to cut them at a slight angle. All right, so there's our little ribbon scarf. I do like to use either some clear nail polish or some super glue or glue of some type. Um, if you have actual fabric fray check, that would work as well. And I will just kind of dab that on the ends here of our ribbon to make sure that it's not going to fray and come undone and get all messed up. So I'm just gonna gently paint that right on the ends. You do want to do this right after you cut it just to make sure that it's going to stay nice. There we go. And we'll just let that dry for a little bit. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can add a second ribbon on top of his top hat here to function as a little ornament hanger. If you wanted to do that, you would just take your 1 8 inch thick ribbon. Uh, I like to use a coordinating color here with his little neck scarf. And we would cut a 8 inch piece of this. So let me just measure that out here for us and show you how I would tie that on. So very simply for that, I would just bend it right in half so the ends are going to meet each other. Kind of sandwich it together so everything's running nice and flat there. It's just bent in half. Then I would just put a simple little knot in the top of the ribbon here, so just wrapping both ends around together, tucking them through that space, pulling it tight with just about half inch tails here uh, on the ends, making sure we pull that nice and tight so it's not going to come undone. And then I would cut these little ends at an angle using my scissors. Just like with the other ribbon, you always want to make sure that you're not going to have fraying. So I'm just going to put a little, little dab of super glue here to finish those ends off. And then to attach this to the top of the snowman, I'm just going to take the bottom kind of U-shaped portion, feed it from the back to the front through his top hat. I'm going to take this upper knotted portion, loop it through that space we made, and then just pull until it tightens down just like that. Pull it nice and tight, and you've got your little hanging ribbon on top. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy little snowman ornament tutorial, found it helpful and easy to follow. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Uh, I also love to see y'all's finished projects that you make using my tutorials. I do have links to all my social media in the description section below. So if you want to just post anything on there that you've made using my tutorials and tag me in it, that would be awesome. I'm always happy to see that. If you enjoyed this more home decor oriented uh, wire wrapping tutorial as opposed to my usual jewelry tutorials, I do have currently two other styles of Christmas tree ornaments, which I have tutorials for on my channel. One is this wire wrapped snowflake here, as you can see, uh, definitely a little bit more intricate and involved, a little bit more difficult to make. Um, so check out on my channel if you're curious, I have a tutorial on this. And then I've also done a tutorial on this pretty little wire wrapped angel design here, which I have scaled up. Uh, very simply to make an ornament as well. And as always, if you don't have time to make these, I do have the finished, completed ornaments available for purchase on my Etsy shop. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I will catch you in the next video. Happy crafting!